there is a hollywood actress uh whatever her name is the one who acted in speed sandra bullock uh, good except how to live life how much we know no <laughs> now one of the favorite phrases of sandra bullock is my life is under construction so don't ask me have i achieved have i reached it's still under construction and i don't think that phrase befits anything more than relationship all relationships are always <laughs> dot 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 under construction when a child compares with a sibling and says you love another more than me the child is basically telling you you are not giving me the attention you are giving the other that's all the child doesn't understand this love and other things it's just a language which the child uses but the child is basically telling you so you think your 8 year old is still young enough for you to take into the lap and cuddle and and you have a very special language when you deal with those little ones etu kunu puchini tuku tinku pa papulu chennotai toka and for a 12 year old you say you will not behave like that <laughs> your children are never too old for parental attention and to them it does not matter whether it's positive or negative any time your child compares his himself or herself with the sibling they are just saying i need more attention give it and there are hazar ways to do it just feeding your 12 year old is an attention just taking her into the lap is attention just sitting next to her when she is studying we don't understand that syllabus okay 12 year means already advanced but just sitting next to that child is attention and don't miss that opportunities i remember an evening in pune which expanded my belief about how i look at relationships when me and a friend of mine had gone to see a colonel and we were sitting with an uncle in the lawns and discussing after about half an hour of discussion the uncle asked us do you care for tea we never thought about it look like he wanted tea and we were just a context by which he could ask for tea so he said do you care for a tea we said why not he immediately turned in the direction to shout to auntie who was inside the bungalow to ask for tea and there he saw she was walking with a tray in hand with tea and she approached us the uncle told the auntie i was about to ask you for tea and without battling an eyelid the auntie said after 14 years of our marriage if you have to ask me for tea and only then i bring then there is no meaning to this relationship i know what you want even before you ask there is no need for us to believe a relationship with time needs to diminish in fact a relationship with time can grow and it will grow only to those who believe i am in a growing relationship but i want all mothers sitting here to know this children who find it difficult to handle you being strict during the growing years actually develop tremendous attachment to you they don't show it in the growing years all adults sitting here think about it it based on whether your father was very strict with you or your mother was strict with you whoever was more strict with you your attachment to them is much higher than the one who always pampered you think about it so don't be bothered about how they resist you during growing years but they develop a lot of attachment 
children like somebody to tell them do's don'ts why you should do why you should not and they really like it dads will always appear favorite for children during their growing years because dads are part time dads <laughs> okay they come for little time and try to be as easy and impressive as possible but eventually all your time and attention will pay back over a period of time i have a very very strong feeling about all of you can be easily provoked into anger I'm sorry i don't want to hurt you but truth be told i can provoke a dog into barking whenever i want if i do it will start barking it's an animal it does not have the intelligence to understand jaan pooch ke he is provoking me i should not bark Hundred times I can provoke the dog; it will start barking. If anybody in the world can provoke you into anger whenever they want, what are we? What are we? Who is the master of our emotions? <laughs>